Finding the log of a matrix A can be done by solving the equation exponent of B equals A. Solving this matrix equation is easy in two cases, if A is similar to D and if A is similar to C. In this video, you will learn how to deal with the first case. So we can compute are computing the log of a diagonalizable matrix A. So A equals P, D, P inverse, and you know P and, uh, and D because you know how to diagonalize a matrix. Now we want to compute B, the log of A. So that means that we have to solve e to the power B equals A. Oh, and it's usually often easy if you are able to rewrite A as e to the power of some A tilde. Now, uh, we also use the lemma we have proven in previous video that e to the power P tilde D tilde P tilde inverse, you can put the P and, and the P inverse outside of the exponent like this. So what do we need to do? We want to find P tilde and D tilde such that this A is equal to this expression. And then we said A tilde equals P tilde D tilde P inverse, because in that case, if we define A like this and A tilde like this, we have exactly e to the power A tilde equals A. And how are we going to do that? Now you see already how A looks. A is diagonalizable, so if we pick P tilde equals P, we're almost there. We need P tilde equals P. Then we have already P equals something times P inverse. And furthermore, we want this something to be equal to D, because we know A equals P times D times P inverse. So we must pick D tilde such that each of our D tilde equals D. However, if you make the exponent of a diagonal matrix, you keep a diagonal matrix. So our D like looks like this. So how do we have to pick our D tilde? Well, with instead of the lambda 1 and lambda 2 on the diagonal, the ln of lambda 1 and the ln of lambda 2 on the diagonal. Because if we make the exponent then of D tilde, we get e to the power ln uh, lambda 1, e to the power ln lambda 2, which is exactly uh, lambda 1, lambda 2. So with this D tilde, e to the power D tilde becomes nicely equal to D. And uh, with this D tilde, we form our A tilde equals P times D tilde times P inverse. Uh, so, because what do we have then? Then we have A equals E to the power A tilde. Uh, this was our A tilde, and it has to be equal to E to the power B. Then we compare exponents, and we see this exponent over here has to be, it can be this exponent over here. So here we have a solution of our matrix equation B equals P, uh, s uh, almost the same diagonal matrix, only ln of lambda 1 and ln of lambda 2 on the diagonal, times P inverse 